So, fixing the tractor today. I'll give you guys a uh, better eye view, a better, a better, 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 better perspective of that when I get into it here. First, I got to clear the snow. We got probably four or five inches. I mean, everybody here's got four wheel drive and all wheel drive SUVs and stuff, but if you let it get two packed down, 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 down. the genuine cold start. It's about 22 degrees this morning. A little bit of gas, just not a little bit of gas, just a little too, not too much though, just a little bit. <laughs> So this is what we got, these bolts, this old one, these bolts keep on breaking on us, at least the original ones, and uh, it shit's scary when all of a sudden you're hauling something and the front of the tractor falls on the ground. Nobody likes this, I already took this one out, this is one we threw in there temporarily because this one broke. I want to get this new one in here, it's a grade 8, brand new bolt, tell you what, you guys need hardware? right to the tractor supply store man I tell you what I got four bolts for this thing and I think I paid five dollars while I was putting this together just notice that one of the tires is out further than the other one the bar isn't equal you know that explains why she feels kind of topsy-turvy a little bit when you got a lot of weight on it so we're gonna fix it okay or we're gonna make it worse you know, it's just like find out either way for all right still got one spare nut and bolt here but it's too short so but with a collection of nut and bolts one nice trio, trio. 